Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to be creating two cards using the new Modern Trees stamp set, which is part of the September 2017 release. The Modern Trees stamp set is one of my favorite from this release because there's so many fun ways that you can use this stamp set. I love a stamp set that you can kind of do a lot of different techniques with or different occasions, different things like that. And this one definitely lends itself to that because it's a layering stamp set. So it has different images to create one full image, which allows you to use different colors. And it's also a tree set with a lot of different variations in the tree image. So you can use it for all different times of the year. So for the two cards that I created today, I'm going to be creating two different cards that are showing all four seasons on one card. So for the first one here, I have some squares that I've cut out with the Stitch Square Stacks Dynamics, and I have four squares all cut out in the exact same size. And what I'm doing is I'm putting that square into my Mini Misty and holding it down there with the magnet, and I'm positioning one of the tree trunks right onto that square. And I'm making sure to note where I have the square positioned so that I can put all of the other squares in the exact same spot. So what I'm doing is I am stamping that tree trunk using hot fudge dyeing directly onto that square. And then once I have it stamped on there, I'm just removing it and putting one of the next squares in there and doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to repeat this process for all four of the squares. And this is going to ensure that my tree trunks are lined up in exactly the same spot on all four of them. My plan for this card idea is to have the four squares kind of centered on a square card and have all four seasons represented on each of these different squares. Using the Misty just helps to really keep everything uniform and have all of the trees stamped in the same spot on the different squares. So now that I have all the tree trunks stamped, I'm going to go ahead and do all of the top of the trees. And for these, we're going to change out the colors and the way that we're stamping them just to kind of represent the different seasons. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some sour apple dye ink and I'm going to stamp out my first tree. And this is going to be our spring tree. Now it's kind of hard if you don't add any additional detail to kind of differentiate between spring and summer. So what I did is I used spring, I used the lighter green color, and then for summer I'm going to use a darker green. And that's just going to kind of separate the two and make them look different. Now for fall, I'm going to use some orange zest ink. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those leaves on. And that's going to give us a really nice bright orange tree. And then for the summer one, like I mentioned, I'm going to use green once again. But I am going to use a darker one. So we're going to use jelly bean green. And this is going to give me a darker tree, but also leave it still in that green color. And you can definitely play around with this and make the tree leaves any color you want to represent the seasons. It's completely up to you. Now for the winter tree, I left the tree trunk completely as is. Since it is supposed to be winter, I didn't want to have any leaves on the tree. So I left that one completely plain. And then to really make that orange tree definitely look like fall, I also took a little stamp there from the set that has some leaf detail. And I stamped a little bit of leaves on their own just to kind of make them look like they were falling from the tree. To emphasize the winter tree a little bit more and give it a little bit more something on there since it is pretty plain, I took a white gel pen and added a little bit of detail to that tree just to kind of look like frost or snow on that tree trunk. And then once I have that done, all four tree images are fully stamped and I'm just going to add some ink detail around the outside edge of each of these squares. And this is just going to help each of them stand out a little bit against the white background that we're going to adhere them to. So once I had the edges of all four squares completely done, I laid out all the squares onto my cardstock panel. And what I did is I just kind of figured out how big I would need it to have a little bit of a margin all the way around the outside edge and the inside. I kind of wanted to keep everything evenly spaced. And then I kind of laid out the different squares in the order of the seasons. And I'm just going to adhere one at a time and just kind of make sure I'm lining it up with both the outside margin and the square that's either right beside it or directly below it or above it. If you want to add a little bit of dimension to your card, you can definitely adhere all of these with some foam adhesive behind them. But I decided to keep mine completely flat and just adhere them directly to the card. And then once I have them all on there, I'm going to take the whole entire panel and adhere it to a card base. I decided to adhere my panel to a grout gray cardstock mat before putting it on the card base just to kind of help separate the white a little bit from the brown. And then once I had it adhered there, I just added some more adhesive to the back and then I added that to my hot fudge card base. This is a square card that measures, I believe, four and three quarters square, and it is a top folding card. So that is my first card that represents all four seasons with the Modern Tree stamp set. 
Now moving on, I wanted to create another card with kind of the same idea, but rather than have the trees be different colors, I wanted to have one tree and have four squares that represented the seasons just by the color that I have them. So for this one here, I'm taking some Distress Ink colors and I'm adding some ink detail to a white cardstock panel. I have some Salty Ocean for the Winter Square. I have Abandoned Coral for the Spring Square. I have Mowed Lawn for Summer and Carved Pumpkin is going to be our Fall. And I'm just going ahead and kind of adding this in a circular motion until I have an area big enough to be able to cut out a little stitch square. Before I do any die cutting, I do want to add a little bit of distress detail to the squares. So I'm going to add some water over top of my distress ink. And then I just use a paper towel to kind of dab that water up. And it just lifts up the ink and kind of leaves me with that white textured look to the ink background. I'm using the second smallest square from that same stitch square stacks dynamics. And I'm going to cut a square out of each of the four colors that we've created on this panel. And then once I have them all die cut, we're going to adhere them together into a bigger square and do some stamping directly on there. Now I don't want any of these squares to shift while I'm doing the stamping, so I'm going to use my Mini Misty to do my stamping, and I'm going to temporarily adhere them to that backing sheet in my Misty stamping tool. So I just have some adhesive there that I know is going to allow me to easily remove these once I'm done the stamping. And I'm just adhering the four squares in the order of the seasons, kind of like in a clock formation. So I have spring, summer, fall, and winter. And I'm just adhering those all down and making sure that they're really nice and tight against each other so that when we do our stamping, it's going to stamp nice and even on all four of the squares. Now for this design, I decided to use the same tree. I really like the design of this one and felt like it would fill up that square nicely. So what I'm going to do is position the tree trunk directly onto that square and I made sure when I laid it down that I had a part of the trunk kind of on every piece and the branches on every piece as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this with black ink. I was kind of going for like a more modern kind of artsy look. I wanted to just have the black tree over top of all of the colored squares. So I went ahead and did that part first. Now before stamping the leaves, I did remove the winter square so that I don't have any leaves stamped on there. And then I'm going to repeat the same process as I did with the tree trunk and I'm just going to stamp that tree top with that same black ink. So once I have all of the stamping done and I removed the little squares there from the temporary adhesive, I am taking a marker and I'm kind of drawing along the inside edge anywhere where we have stamped that tree. So if there's any black area along the edge, I'm just kind of running my marker right across there so that when we put this square pieces back together, we're not going to have any of that white core kind of showing through. So once again, I'm adhering these directly to my cardstock panel and I am using Grout Gray and I'm positioning these all back into the same position that I had them in the Misty when I did the stamping. And now you can see we've put our tree all back together and then I trimmed that down to create a square panel that we can put on our card front. So for the sentiment, I'm using This Will Be The Best Year Ever. This is from the Good Fortune stamp set and I thought it would be really nice with this image just because we kind of have all four seasons kind of showing on here and I thought the sentiment went really nice with that and it's a really nice size so it fits nicely right underneath of that square image that we've created. So I'm just taking some black licorice dye ink and I'm stamping this directly underneath of there and then I'm going to adhere this finished panel to a grout gray card base. My card base is four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I've trimmed down this panel with a stitch rectangle from the Blueprints 29 Dynamics die set. And I don't have it on camera but I did add some sequins to my finished cards just to add a little bit more detail kind of scattered around those trees and then that is going to complete our two cards that feature the four different seasons using the Modern Tree Stamp set. So thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.